Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to use object-object statistics in Amaris for both spots and surfaces to identify subpopulations within a spots population. I'm also going to label these based on different filters using the object-object statistics. So the first thing I want to check is to make sure that object-object statistics are enabled for both my spots and surfaces. If they're enabled for just one object, this process won't work. Um, so to check that, I can either make sure that they're enabled when I'm doing my object creation in the first step of the creation wizard, that's what this object object statistics option is, or if I've already created my objects, I can check in the edit tab, which is the pencil icon in both the uh, surface objects and in spots objects. So here you can see it's checked here, so it's enabled for the surface. However, when I go in here and check for my spots object in the edit tab, you can see that it's not enabled. So I have to make sure that that is checked for both. And then once I have enabled that, I'll just click on the statistics tab to force Mars to recalculate all of the different statistics. So the first thing I want to do is find all of these CD86 spots objects that are inside this IBA1 microglia surface. So to do that, I'll go into the, the filter tab, which looks like this little gray funnel, and I'll add a new filter. I can make a subpopulation or select specific spots objects that I'm interested in using any of the different statistics that Amaris can calculate. But for this example, I'm going to use the shortest distance statistic. So I would scroll down to shortest distance to surfaces, and then this is the name of the surface that I want to use. So I'm going to use the IBA1 microglia surface. Right now, I am selecting all of the spots objects that are 9.39957 microns away from the nearest surface. That's not what I'm interested in selecting. I want to select all of the ones that are inside. So I'll turn off my lower limit of my threshold here, and I'll turn on my upper limit or the upper boundary and enter in a value of zero. Right now you can see in yellow, all of the CD86 spots objects that are highlighted yellow are the ones that are being selected. And these ones are zero microns or closer to the nearest IBA1 microglia surface. A negative number here indicates that it's inside the surface. So right now I have 1,369 objects that are being selected. At this point, I can duplicate this selection to a new set of spots objects. And you can see here, those are the ones that have been duplicated to this new object. Or I can go back to the CD86, and maybe I don't want to actually make a subset of that population, but rather I would like to label that subpopulation. So I can go to the label tape, uh, tab here. It looks like uh, a green and a red shopping tag. And so I'll add a new set and you can name this whatever makes best you know sense for your data. I'm just going to call it location. And then down here in the class, I can label this as uh, inside or touching, or I could even do like a distance of less than zero microns from my IBA one, whatever makes most sense. And then I will click the little triangle here next to assign, and you'll have to click it twice for it to actually add to this count pool. I can change the color code here by clicking on this rounded corner square and make it whatever color I would like to. I found that a lot of these colors can be kind of muted, so you might want to open up the color code and drag it down to the corner or even adjust those values here completely so you can have the color code that you desire. And then what I wanna do, because right now I only have those ones that are zero microns or less distance from the IBA one, I wanna go back here and select the other population. So to do that, I'm going to turn on the lower threshold, turn off the upper this time but I don't want to enter zero here. I want the ones that are slightly larger or slightly further away from this IBA1 surface. So I have six significant digits turned on in my Amaris preferences. So that's what that's going to determine what the distance is or, you know, <laughs> how far away I need to be 
from that surface to select the remaining population of my spots objects. So once those are selected, I'll then go back to the label tab, add another class here. And so these ones are going to be greater than zero microns from the IBA one surface and I'll assign these. And then I'll pick a different color here. I want those to just be like the gray scale kind of color. So I can do that. And then those are assigned. And now I have these two different populations that when I go into the statistics tab, that label is going to carry through on all of the different statistics that I look at. So in the overall tab, you'll see here, there's just a count of the number of each spots objects that's within that different label pool. But if I go into the different statistics, whatever stat I want to look at, uh, if I want to look at like intensity statistics of the different channels that I have present, I can do that. And then that label that I made previously is going to carry through on all of the stats. So this is a nice way of making selections or looking for trends in your data. If these statistics, the those object object statistics that we've been using, like shortest distance to the surfaces are not actually active in your Amaris and being generated, you can check to make sure that they're enabled and turned on by selecting file, preferences, statistic, and then expanding the different sections for surfaces and spots, and then the subsections to actually find those shortest distance statistics statistics and the um, object object stats. And if there's a checkbox next to it, that means that it's enabled. And if you make any changes to the preferences, you will need to restart Amaris. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Have a great day.